Hi, welcome back to another video. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hi, welcome back to another video. My name's Hannah. If you've never seen my face before, nice to meet you. And today, I'd like to address the elephant in the room before we get started. This little patch, little pimples over here. I do a lot of short makeup videos or skincare videos, and it's always really funny when someone has like an anime picture as their profile comments. Probably why you got so many pimples from putting all that stuff on your face. All right, yeah, because I'm sure you know a lot about skincare, and that's just how it works. Why a person feels the need to like even comment something like that, I'll never understand it, never. Although that's not even mean to me, it's just ignorant. Anyways, I love comments, like even if they're mean comments, like. I love them. I love every single one of them. Today in this video, I wanted to make a whole video about sex in the city. I am going through a sex in the city phase. This is a long time coming. I majored in fashion merchandising in college. My dream was to move to New York City, to be a buyer, to you know live the fashion life up there. That's no longer my dream. And like quickly in 2020, I realized I did not want that. And even now I look at it and I'm like, I think I'm past that. In another life, I think I would be more interested in that, but like it doesn't look as appealing as it used to look. But recently, since the series has started of and just like that I've been watching and like I hadn't even seen sex in the city before that I was just like yeah this is something that I would watch I don't know so I watched the first season of that and I'm currently watching the second season and usually at night there's a couple hours before I go to sleep that I'm just like by myself I've just been binging through shows that I want to watch I recently watched girls and now I'm on to sex in the city and they're super easy episodes to watch 30 minutes or less it's awesome they're on HBO max go watch it if you're interested today I thought I'd take some like a BuzzFeed quiz, some Sex in the City stuff. Like, what character am I? That's really the only thing I'm wondering. Because in my head, I'm Carrie. But I do have a lot of, in the best way, Samantha tendencies. I've watched some episodes recently that I'm like, wait, I kind of have some Miranda tendencies. The only one that I don't really relate to is Charlotte as much, but Charlotte is just an angel. Do love her. And watching it more and more, I kind of think you're supposed to, as a whole, relate to all of them. Let's jump right in, shall we? I'm gonna Google some Sex in the City quizzes. First one is BuzzFeed. You have to do the BuzzFeed quiz. That is like the pinnacle of online quizzes. So this quiz will tell you which sex in the city girl you are. Okay, pick the cutest wedding picture. Hmm, I'm gonna go with this. Choose the best first date. Okay, looks like we've got a bowling alley, a bar. Is that a mall shopping or a picnic on top of a mountain? I will go with bar. See, cause like you can't go bowling on a first date because it's kind of humiliating. And like, what if you see your date bowl a certain way and it gives you the ick? So I'm gonna go with bar, drinks at a bar. Next question, pick your favorite time of the day. Sunrise, hell no. Once you've seen one sunrise, you've seen them all. Hot take, okay? Sunset, I mean, that's that's the obvious answer. Or we've got midnight, you have to be crazy. Afternoon, I do like an afternoon, but sunset's the best, obviously. What's your dream job? Journalist, no. CEO, actor, stay-at-home parent. Obviously, Charlotte and Karen. Traits right here. I'm gonna go with actor though because I think that would be really fun. How many kids do you want? As many as I can have. Two. I don't know. I don't want kids. Okay, like two's the perfect answer. There's like a psychotic woman trait in me that wants to have four kids. So we're gonna go with two, even though I want at least three but preferably four. What's your best physical trait? My body, my hair, my eyes, my smile. This feels, I'm a little too shy to answer this question, to be quite honest, so I'm gonna go with my hair. What's your best personality trait? My people skills, my advice, my intelligence, my loyalty. Definitely not my intelligence or my advice. I do pride myself on being a very loyal person, so my loyalty. I've got people skills, but like, I could never be a salesman. Pick your favorite boyfriend. Ooh. Not Harry, even though Harry is a gem of a man, okay? Watching these early episodes, I love Steve. Like, he just wants to love Miranda, and he just wants to be the only guy. I just watched the episode, though, where, like, he gets mad at Miranda for not going and watching him, like, practice a half-court shot, and it kind of gave me the egg. I was like, seriously, you know? Big, I'm at the point in the series where she just met Aiden, and she's dating Aiden now. Honestly, like, fuck big. Like, honestly, fuck big. Like that man he sucks okay i don't really know jason yet okay i am not that far so <sighs> with some regret i'm going to pick steve <gasps> 
Congratulations! I'm Samantha Jones. You're the wild person. You love to date and have fun, but getting serious is not your style. You much prefer one steady group of friends over one man forever. You're great at giving advice because you're so carefree. I can't say that I'm surprised. I kind of thought I leaned more Carrie, but I do see how I am the Samantha. If you've watched the show, you just know like Samantha's like the sluttiest of them all. And like, I don't think I'm the sluttiest, but like I do love how she gives zero fucks. Admire, love that. I wish like I had her charisma just to go up to anyone and talk. Love that. That was a fun little quiz. Let's see if we can find like one more. I just feel like we need one more. I do have to say one thing I love about Sex in the City, I truly feel feel like it is still so relevant. I know these women. I have friends that act the same. I feel like it's such a universal experience. A lot of times like dating when you're younger, it sucks. There's just so many funny little situations that they get into. Also watching it, I'm like, I feel like this is very progressive for the 1997 through 2004. Like I feel like a lot of things they're saying are so before their time, I guess. And I like how there's still like so many things in it that are still so relevant, like New York City things. Okay, let's Let's see. This one looks fun. Which Sex in the City man will you end up with? This is from 2021, so I feel like it's promising. All right, pick the one word that best describes you. But we've got polite, smart, creative, independent, passionate, funny, grounded, charming. I'll go with, I'll go with creative. I feel like it's conceded to say I'm funny, even though I like to consider myself as a funny gal. Pick where you met him. The local bar, at a coffee shop, dinner party, at a country club, art gallery, airport, at the park, at the grocery store. I feel like it's everyone's dream to meet a man at the airport. Don't you ever like wonder if you're someone's airport crush? Okay, at a country club, at a local bar. I'm gonna lean towards oh, either local bar or country club or dinner party. Let's say airport. Pick a career for him. Interior designer, okay, Aiden. Physical therapist, CEO, artist, lawyer, surgeon, restaurant owner, podcast host. Hmm. I feel like I could never date a surgeon because there's too many nurses around, you know? Restaurant owner, that's their life. They're at the restaurant all the time. Lawyer, it screams douchebag. CEO, their life is their business. Artist, very, very creative, very passionate. Interior designer and physical therapist screams douchebag to me. So after much consideration, I'm going with podcast hosts. Regret to inform you that I'm going with podcast hosts. Pick a date for him to plan. Picnic in the park, tickets to a sporting event, dinner, theater tickets, opera, cook a meal, watch Netflix, foreign film, karaoke night, hang out and nap before the weekend. Huh. Karaoke night is very much a fun thing to do, but it's very much like you've been dating for a while. Picnic and a walk, that also screams like the honeymoon phase. I'm gonna say tickets to a sporting event. That's kind of my favorite thing to do. A game or a comedy show. Pick a place to settle down. Brooklyn, Paris, the Hamptons, Edinburgh, Hollywood, Toronto, Manhattan, Boston. Okay, settle down. Probably would never settle down in Manhattan. Not really interested in Toronto. Hollywood, I do love the idea of California. Okay. Okay, the weather, the taxes, the beach, Edinburgh, I just went there. It looks like a lovely place to live, but I do love Boston. I would settle down there, so let's say Boston. Pick a wedding venue on a farm, a fancy loft, a church, a rooftop restaurant, at the museum, on the beach, an old manor, or a botanical garden. A farm is so Oklahoma. Fancy loft feels very Manhattan. Rooftop restaurant feels like a dinner rehearsal spot. At a church, so classic, so traditional. At a museum, interesting pick. On a beach, Old Manor is so pick me. It's like at an old model. Let's do a beach because I think a beach wedding would be fun. Then you run into the ocean after. Just kidding. I don't think I'd do that. I hate the ocean. I don't hate it. Pick a weekend activity to do together. Antique hunting, paddle boarding, tennis in a steam room, farmer's market, and make dinner for friends, street art, volunteer, weekend at bed and breakfast, biking in the park, and lunch. Weekend bed and breakfast sounds awesome, and so does tennis in a steam room, but I'll probably beat you at tennis, so that won't be fun. Let's go to bed and breakfast. I love that and exploring a cute little town. Pick a dream trip. Camp in Wyoming, not really a dream. See a soccer match. Cruise of Egypt, that is a dream. Disney World, stay at a castle in Ireland. <laughs> 
culture tour of Japan. That seems kind of cool. Over the water hunt of Bora Bora. That's like my dream honeymoon spot is one of those like fancy little Bora Bora huts. Okay, so pick a dream trip. I like really want to go to Egypt. I really want to go to Egypt. I really want to cruise the Nile. That is a dream. But this has been a dream for a very long time. Ever since I saw a picture in a magazine of those little huts. So we'll do that. Pick the perfect gift for him. Smartwatch, camera, golf clubs, home theater, tools, grill, courtside tickets, or cufflinks. Courtside tickets or golf clubs is what I'm leaning towards. Golf clubs are really expensive, so can tickets courtside though. Let's go courtside. <laughs> Excuse me. And finally, pick how many kids you'll have with him. Mm, let's go four. Drum roll, please. <gasps> I just got big. After talking so much shit, I just got big. The problem is, is like I would end up with big because he is so toxic. He's independent and not looking for someone to care for him, but a partner in life. He's the kind of man who will whisk you off to a romantic getaway and take you out to amazing dinners and more. He's highly successful business tycoon. On paper, big is everything I've ever wanted. The way he is just treat and carry. He's gotta go, but he is a great guy. Well, everything they just said is everything I would ever want. A man that can take care of himself, whisk off to a romantic getaway, amazing dinners and more, and he's rich. <sighs> and that's just something I have to live with, I guess. All right, well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I am a Samantha who ends up with Mr. Big. So, I've got a lot to think about. So I've got to go. Also, I'm on season three of Sex and the City, so my opinion could change of Mr. Big. <sighs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. If you haven't watched the series, go watch it. If you do like the series, comment your favorite character. Comment who you think you are. Comment who your favorite boyfriend or man is on the show. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day, week, month. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.